Hello Gamerinos and Gamerinas! Welcome to Unicorn Storm and my review thingy. Today I'm gonna talk about this game here that thinks about the things you actually do. And with that I gonna stop. Today's game is Songs for a Hero and it's a action platforming game. You can run and jump and hit enemies with your sword and you can also throw fireballs and get access to more attacks and spells over the course of the game. There isn't really anything special with the gameplay. I mean, it's competent enough, but there's nothing outstanding. You move at an okay pace, it could be a bit faster. Enemies, for the most part, behave in predictable patterns and they're not that hard to deal with. Levels are mostly straightforward, though they can get a bit tedious at times. And well, aside from reaching the goal and killing all the enemies in your way, you can collect coins and a handful of collectibles, which are sometimes easy to grab, sometimes you have to accomplish a small platforming challenge and sometimes you have to find a hidden area to get them. The game is presented in a 16-bit pixel art style and well, the pixel art is clean and colorful, enemies have detailed animations and there is a good variety in different environments or enemy types. And if this were all the game has to offer, then I'd say only get this if you really, really, really want another pretty standard platformer and get it for like 5 bucks. But the game does have a unique little gimmick in form of a dynamically sung soundtrack. Every new milestone you reach during your journey, every discovery you make, every action you take is rewarded with another verse in the ever-growing ballad your character sings about himself. He is singing about heading out for adventure, he is singing about meeting and beating his first enemy, he is singing about the treasure he finds and he is singing about the weird floating platforms. I am still confounded by all these floating floors, all I know is I won't stare into the abyss anymore. He is singing about being lost or moving the wrong way getting stuck or overcoming a challenge. And it's implemented in a pretty neat way. The developers recorded a lot of lines for this huge soundtrack and as long as you're moving through the level at a good pace, your gameplay is pretty much always accompanied by lyrics. This does mean though that the actual music isn't that complex. It's always a pretty slow, pretty simple rhythm and pretty much all the verses are crafted in the same way. I guess to make it a bit easier to come up with all the lyrics, but also to have it even be possible to dynamically play the lyrics at different points in the soundtrack. Depending on how long and how much you can enjoy this gimmick or how weird you are, you might get annoyed by it sooner or later. So I guess that's something to keep in mind. And while I really like the concept, I have a few problems with this gimmick. First off, the English singing voice is terrible. I can laugh about the actual lyrics, but the way it's sung gets on my nerves pretty fast. The original Portuguese singing voice is alright, as far as I can tell, but the next major problem with the game is that you can't change the language of the voice acting independently from the text language. So if you want to listen to the Portuguese songs, well, you have to play the whole game in Portuguese. And I'd say this is a huge problem with the game. Either have an option to have the texts in English while listening to the Portuguese soundtrack or have a better English singing voice. This whole game is designed around the player listening to an endless song 
and this mustn't be annoying or aggravating. I guess it's possible to enjoy the English soundtrack ironically and have a good laugh about it, but yeah, I don't think most people would actually enjoy the singing. And the other problem I have with this gimmick is that it is horribly underused during boss fights. During a normal level you have pretty much constant singing, but during a boss fight you only get the instrumental background music, which is such a waste of potential. I mean, the hero could just sing about meeting this giant enormous foe, he could sing about him having way more HP than the other enemies, he could sing about his attacks and how he has to dodge them, or when he is able to attack the enemy. They could have combined the soundtrack with the actual gameplay and the tactics of the boss fight. I mean, the hero could have just sung something like, he's rushing at me in despair, I have to jump up in the air. And no, that's not much worse than the actual English singer. What I'm trying to say is that the boss fights would have been a perfect opportunity to really play around with this dynamic soundtrack. And well, they just didn't do it. That's a bit sad. They used this gimmick a lot during the normal levels, but during the actual highlights of the game, it's criminally underused. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. This game is a pretty mediocre platformer with a good number of abilities to use and a pretty shallow and uninspired level design, but with a nice and clean art style and a fun and unique spin on the soundtrack. And if that's something you might want to try for yourself, then you should get this game in a sale. The game costs about $15 which isn't too bad and it might even be worth the asking price if you're going to play this game in Portuguese and are able to understand it, but otherwise I'd say you shouldn't pay more than 7 or 8 bucks for it. And I guess that's all I have to say about this game. So have a great day, that's it from Rady and I hope to see you again on the next game. In these faces one could find riches galore, but dangers may lie in store. And these places sure have many a secret passage, don't know if that's an advantage.